Hello everybody, I'm uh, going through the takedown process right now of a 1986 uh, TRX 250R. Uh, this is kind of my takedown area in here and where I'll take all this down and, and uh, build quite a bit of it in my uh, spare room for the most part and then I'll usually take it back out here when I'm doing the uh, rear axle and all that good stuff so working on the front end now you can see it has a big Paul Turner pipe on it um, this is probably the lowest hour bike that I've seen and gosh I maybe ever it's weird how a lot of these race bikes they'll have you know a pipe on it and a, and a couple things here and there I actually put this on I was going to race this bike um for a little bit then I realized it was way too nice to race um so yeah just gonna take a little bit of video going around it um OEM tires rims everything's OEM I, I've got the original pipe inside uh you can see it's got the original 86 key and carburetor on it uh I have the original bars inside uh yeah everything um on it um, to put back to uh, original. I also have the OEM plastics, which are just incredibly nice. I have elected to use uh, aftermarket plastics on it, and when it goes for sale, um, I'm going to send the OEM plastics with it because they have the OEM um, decals on them still, and they're, it's, they're just really nice. There's two small cracks in the rear, which has been replaced, very small, like a quarter inch fronts have no cracks and they're just they're really too nice um i think they're more they 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 don't i don't think they deserve to be sanded down and polished and all that good stuff they believe uh i, I think they deserve to be preserved so to go through what i plan on doing for the front end on this uh honda Man, they really nailed it a lot like the car manufacturers, you know, the first year production. Um, you know, when you when you talk about the C3 Corvette, first year of that, nailed it. First C2 Corvette, nailed it. First Mustang, nailed it. That kind of stuff. I believe a Honda did the same thing uh, with this bike. Um, what I'm going to plan to do that Honda did not do was some reason they painted these uh spindles and these will be all gold zinced and um obviously the shocks they were zinced from the factory um i think that stuff wears off pretty quick uh on those shocks i don't know what they used uh, i don't know if it was a it looks like it was silver but it it could have been a bright gold from the factory. Some of you guys probably remember buying these new. Um, you could probably tell me. I've never seen one, uh, a, a new old uh, uh, stock um, shock. So they painted these also. These are steel. Uh, these will be gold zinced. And so, you know, this together, that's kind of how they sit. Um, that will all be gold zinced. And then... Um, yeah, re-zinking uh, uh, these and all of the nuts and bolts being uh, gold zinced all throughout the bike. And I'm actually going to gold zinc the steering stem all the way up to the um, bar holders up here. These are aluminum. They sit in steel. This will be powdered black. Um, both of them so you won't really be able to tell unless you're in front of the bike and it's going to be all gold so this is going to match uh the the drip build the rick flair i did uh, recently the three-wheeler the 1986 three-wheeler so they're going to be uh brothers um and that's what i had planned that's why i picked this up and it and um yeah this will be setting on the oem tires atsu's they no dry rot whatsoever. They're just uh, super, super nice front and rears. Um, yeah, just kind of going through it right now. Um, I'm not a fan of these aftermarket pipes. I'll tell you why. You have to take this whole pipe off of your bike to service 
your A-arms and your A-arm bushings. You see, this won't even come out unless you uh, take this pipe off. Is that bolt? Look at that shit. Silly. <laughs> so I have to take this pipe off. I didn't. I didn't. I really didn't want to uh, do the pipe and the motor and all that good stuff, but uh, until I got to it, until I uh, took down the whole front end first. I'm just going front to back, but obviously that is not going to happen. So yeah, this is where I'm at. Um, everything's going really smooth because it's it's just such a nice bike to start on. I mean, it was kind of iffy to whether I should even restore it or not because it was so nice. Um, OEM brakes, uh, they have never been into, you can tell the paint is still beautiful on them. Most of my bolts that I'm taking off, they're still zinced. My little bolt bucket, it's pink. I borrowed it for my daughter. <laughs> so yeah, that's some of the bolts are that, you know, coming off of it. Your ends. You can see a lot of zinc on those still. It's just a really, really low hour bike. So, yeah, here I am. Um, I hope to have this taken down between today and tomorrow. I started yesterday. I know the rains are coming in tonight, so I've got to have all this cleaned up and uh, most of it um, put in the garage or the house um, by this evening. But yeah, here's where I'm at and kind of sharing some plans on the front end. Um, that I plan on doing um, some stuff Honda never did um, that may I think in my opinion it's going to be tasteful but yeah I'm going to try to video here and there five ten minute videos uh, on the progress of it um, the TRXs are a lot more involved obviously than the uh, ATCs uh, of the uh, mid 80s there's just a lot more stuff on it which, from a creative standpoint, um, as far as a canvas, it's going to be more fun to, to, to do because there's so much uh, detail that I'm going to be able to put into it. So, that's all for now. See you guys soon.